Why do we grow crops? We grow crops like rice and wheat for food. However, we need to grow these crops with special care so that they can give us enough and quality food. Crops have different needs. Do you like pizzas? Do all your friends like pizzas too? Sometimes different people like to have different kinds of food. Similarly, different crops have different needs. Growth of crops In order to grow good crops, we need to use good quality seeds, add fertilizers and prepare the soil properly. We have to prepare the soil in a special way for some crops. We also have to control the amount of water and fertilizer that each crop requires. Some crops need well aerated sandy soils. The soils are dug into to make them loose. After that, they are arranged in ridges and furrows. The seeds are then planted in these ridges. The soil is turned over often to keep it fluffy and aerated. Let us see some examples. Onion and groundnut grow underground and cannot grow tall unless the soil is airy. Some crops need clay soils. These soils hold plenty of water. Here are some examples. When rice and jute seedlings are transplanted, the fields have to be flooded with water. Vegetables Do your parents force you to have green vegetables every day? Vegetables are very good for our health. Let us see some examples of nutritious vegetables. vegetables. We need vegetables on a daily basis. These crops need a different kind of soil which has enough mineral nutrients so that the crop growth is fast. Fields where vegetables are grown need the following. Organic matter, dead leaves, compost and cow dung. Also, chemical fertilizers like urea and ammonium sulfate are added. Manure is also added to increase the growth of vegetables. Winter Vegetables some vegetables grow well in cool climates. These vegetables are called winter vegetables. These vegetables grow on plains in the winter and in the hills during summer. Let us see some examples. Cabbage, turnip, Summer Vegetables Summer vegetables grow only on the plains. Some examples are Brinjal Pumpkin Goat and Lady's Finger Fruits like 
that melons and vegetables like gourds grow well in the sandy soil of river beds where the surface of the soil appears dry but the deeper layers are moist and contain enough water for the plant protection of crop in addition to this we also need to protect crop against insects animals and bad weather conditions insects crops need to be protected from insects that damage the leaves they prevent the plant from making food These insects can be killed using DDT gamic seed, flit, and other chemicals on crops by spraying machines. Animals. Animals eat up the fruit and seeds of crops. They should be kept away from the field. grass eating animals grass eating animals eat up the crops if they enter the field fences of barbed wire should be put around the field so that these animals cannot enter microorganisms fungi viruses and bacteria also spread diseases among crops To prevent this, good seeds should be used and the crops should be sprayed to kill the microorganisms. Proper storage of food grains. After harvesting, the seeds should be stored in dry conditions. If the seeds become damp, they become rotten and spoiled. Hence, Seeds should be properly stored in airtight containers or in big bins which are covered and sealed. If they are not packed properly, rats and mice might eat them. In this way, both moisture and insect cannot reach the seed. Let us do a quick recap. Different crops need different types of soil. Onion and groundnut need sandy, well aerated soil. Rice and jute need clay soil. Vegetables need fertilizers and manure to grow quickly. Cabbage and turnip are winter vegetables. Brinjal and lady's finger are summer vegetables. Crops need protection against damage. Food grains need to be stored in airtight containers. Insects such as caterpillars and grasshoppers eat leaves. They can be eliminated by spraying DDT and other pesticides. Animals such as rats and birds eat fruits and seeds of crops. They can be kept away from the field. Grass eating animals such as cows and goats eat up the crops. They should be eliminated by fencing the area. Microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria.